Hey, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. Today we're going to explore the wonders of a cool little pickup called the Victory Toaster. So if you surf around online, you can find some interesting handmade pickups out there. I've done a feature on the Lawrence A300, which is just a pickup I absolutely love and I think sounds great. Uh, this is another really cool pickup. I'm gonna hold it a little closer for you. Hopefully get the glare off, there you go. Um, it is a toaster from a company called Victory Pickup. So Victory Pickup Company is basically a guy named Wade Costenbader. He lives in Pennsylvania and he creates and, and develops pickups, hand winds them the whole bit. And when I ordered one of these, this was about a $75 plus shipping item, uh, I got a nice little thank you note in there. Robert, thanks for the order. Enjoy your new pickup. Cheers, Wade. Thanks, Wade. Glad to uh, have done that business with you. So what's involved with a pickup like this? Well. This particular one came with 16 inches of wire hanging off of it. No jack, because there's a presumption that you're going to put it semi-permanently, or in my case, permanently, install it in, in an acoustic. So, you know, here's, here's this. It has a cool little, uh, it has pads that protect the guitar and it has a little arm that, that you work down behind there and holds it in place. 16 inches of wire. And then in this particular case, I'm going to pop that off. Uh, we put in a jack at, at the bottom. This is the kind that you can, you know, actually have a strap on and all that, but it's just uh, installed directly in. I'm using my little Relay G10 as a way of getting this tone over into my DAW right now so I can play a little example. Um, so not too difficult to install, but you probably want to have a professional involved. I think in my case, the jack was about 15 bucks and I did have my luthier do this. So my total investment was probably 130-ish between the pickup and the work to get it installed. So that gives you some idea of, of what you might be investing. But I'm really happy with it. It's a quiet pickup and I'm always surprised what cool things you can do with a pickup installed in an acoustic like this. So let's listen to what the pickup sounds like clean. I'll let you hear it both pick up into the DAW straight with no effects on it and room mic, and then we'll pull the room mic so you can just hear what the pickup alone sounds like. All right, let's hear it with a voice called Hot Rotted. Obviously, I've got effects on that, but I love having that edgy acoustic stringiness mixed with the amp sound. I think it's a really cool sound and it's a, something you can really use effectively for recording. You can't really get that tone any other way. And here's with an even tighter, less ambient, but more aggressive voice called Heartbroken. <laughs> Pretty fun, eh? I don't know about you, I think putting a pickup on an acoustic guitar like this can be a really, really cool thing to do. It gives you some tonal opportunities that you just don't get with a standard electric guitar. So I urge you to, to try out a pickup like this. Um, it doesn't have to be a Victory toaster, but Victory makes some really nice, quiet, handmade pickups made there in Pennsylvania by Wade. <laughs> 
<laughs> which I love that. And I just think, you know, supporting an American made product that's really cool and, and has real craftsmanship. It looks great. Um, it does everything you want it to do. So I endorse it. And uh, I, I really urge you to check out the wide variety. They range in price from about 55 bucks up to this one at 75. And, you know, you can get them for your electric, you can get them for your acoustic, you can get them portable in out, all that kind of stuff. So check them out and also go to guitardiscoveries.com where you can get all of the videos that I've recorded. I'm, I'm up over the number 40 already. My goal is to help you be a better guitarist, to have more fun playing guitar, uh, to improve your skills in the studio, on stage, improve the gear you're using, take shortcuts where possible, uh, protect things, just to do all the things that are important for you as a guitarist that'll save you time along the way to really, really enjoying music. So thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you again next time.